Howdy! Welcome to the Rhinestone Roper Ranch. Today we're not going to be working with uh, Wild West skills. We're going to be working with something that keeps the Wild West show on the road. And that is replacing the cables on a trailer slide out. There are a lot of videos on how to replace the cables on a RV slide. They all seem to deal with uh, situations where the, the old cable is still in place and you can cut it and you can attach a new cable and use the old one to drag the new one through and thread it through all the pulleys it has to go through. There's two situations when where this video might be of use and that is where that cable has gone so you have to thread the new cable all by itself. The other situation and that is the slide is so close to the edge of the closet that you can't get around the molding around here to see the cables. You can't see the cables and you can't see the pulleys. So you can't see what's happening. So here are some of the tools you're going to need to accomplish these tasks. One is uh, your slide out cable repair kit. You'll need, uh, you'll need your phone with a camera on it so you can turn it on to camera and use your uh, lens there to get around the corner and and you can look around and 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 take a look at uh, what's going on on the uh, viewfinder of your camera you need a awl or a, a an ice pick to help guide the wire you'll need a uh, needle nose a little bit of electric electrician's tape and some uh, some wire this is 17 gauge wire it worked pretty good oh and the last thing you'll need I would suggest some red spray paint. All right, let's put our coat on and, and go out and do it. Everything that we need to get to is against the wall back there. There's the motor and there's some cables. You can see that loose cable there. That's the one that's busted. So first thing we'll need to do is we need to take, uh, take this headboard off, take that, uh, that whatever that's called off. And there's a, a black housing right back there that protects cables. We'll take that off also. Here's where we're left. There's a motor. There's the end cables. Now, as you can see, this, this end cable is labeled bottom. And the bottom one's good. That's still tight. And this is uh, the top. And you see, it's, it's loose. And that's the one that's busted. Now, I tried to push it all the way through. But I went to the outside and it's not sticking out. So we can't hook on to this cable with our new cable and pull the new cable through using the old one. So we got to thread it without using the existing cable. So there's really no reason to have that in there. So we'll pull that out. So here are the parts you get with your slide out cable repair kit. They call this uh, monkey finger stuff. You put one, uh, one, put the old cable in this end and put your new cable in that end and then it grips it and you can pull it through. We can't do that with this one because the old cable is already out. But we're going to use that for something anyway. You'll see what we do with this. This uh, fix, fixes the uh, the end of the cable into the outside of the slide. We'll replace that in a second. This is the the cable clamp that uh, you would use right up here. Now, as you can see, I don't use that cable clamp because the tool that crimps that is about eighty bucks. So I didn't want to do that. So instead, I use this cable clamp here. It's uh, it's not as streamlined, and I put tape over it so it doesn't catch on each other as it as it slides past. Uh, but it uh, it seems to work fine. And this is a nut, and it's also a, a spacer. So that's uh, we'll hang on to that. The uh, the original setup probably has those on it already but we'll hang on to these just in case we need them in the future so what i've done is i've taken our new cable i've used the old cable to uh, measure it out 
and so I cut it cut it to length so I didn't have to deal with that long piece they give you uh, at least for this top slide they give you about five times more cable than you need but I guess you need the long one on the bottom so what I've done is I've cut that and tried to make it uh, streamlined on top so those individual fibers didn't catch on anything and I spray painted it red so it might be easier to see uh, as you'll see in just a moment our, our job on the inside is made difficult because we can't see what we're doing we have to do it all indirectly so to start with we'll take this cable and and uh, hook it to the outside of the slide and insert this end into the hole and see if we can see it coming and this cable is missing okay we'll take this old keeper out Just put that back in when we get ready. Take that old nub out. That's the old one. Okay, we'll place a new one in. Okay, now we'll place our end in that hole right there. But as soon as it goes in that hole, it's going to go into the uh, housing for the first pulley, and that pulley is going to take it upward. So it took a needle nose and uh, bent that wire upward. So we'll see if we can get her in there. Okay, it's in. So we'll go see if we can see it on the other side. Well, I'm glad we painted it red. Now we've got some light. It looks like that's the very end of our, our cable. And it looks like it's uh, threaded inside that uh, inside pulley there so it looks like it's pointing the right direction right? when you see you have that red end sticking up above your the first pulley then you can twist this twist that hook so it's pointing away from your slide and then give it another shove and then that end will come out to where you can see it and get a hold of it There's the end of our cable. We'll uh, get a hold of it and uh, do one more maneuver with it. This end, I'm going to put it on my cable just like it's supposed to be used and we may uh, put a little bit of tape on the end of it just to make sure it doesn't slip off the cable as we're pulling it through all right our uh, monkey finger trap is hooked to the cable and i used a little bit of electric electrician's tape to make sure it didn't slip off and I use the electrician's tape because uh, it's less bulky than duct tape. Okay, that's what we have got our wire hooked into the uh, monkey finger trap. We'll have to tape it to get that edge, keep that edge in. Okay, we've taped that nice and smooth. That should thread through pretty good. We'll see. 
Okay, we've got to go uh, up into that housing there to the back pulley. It's behind that cable, on the other side of that cable. Come up here, come through this housing. Come through this housing and out, out this direction. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, we're up at the top. Up at the top of that first pulley. I have to get my ice pick and bend it over. Okay, I used my ice pick to bend that over. Went through the housing. Now we'll grab onto it, see if we can pull stuff through. Okay, so good so far. Gotta keep it back down there. So we'll go through straight. Okay. All right. Well, um, a monkey trap pulled off. But, not before the cable came through. Now as I'm pulling it, it's coming through pretty freely. And that tells me we must be correctly on that lower, lower uh, pulley that we can't freaking see. But we are into this pulley correctly. Looks like we got enough cable to hook onto our eyelet there. So we'll take that duct tape off of there and hook into that eyelet just like this one's hooked into it. I held this up and estimated where I should uh, put this loop, this cable, and it's about right here where the paint stops. So I went ahead and took this uh, eyelet out so I didn't have to work with it up there. So we'll put our uh, cable clamps on, put it back in, see if it works. Well, there we've got it uh, put through the eyelet, got the cable clamp on it, tape that end down. We don't want these ends flopping around because this part and this part pass each other. As it's going in and out, we'll demonstrate that in a second. We don't want loose ends sticking out here, catching on things and screwing it up. So let's run it in and out, see how it looks. Okay, we'll go out the rest of the way. Everything looks good. Come in with it. In is what was busted. Those are not catching, that was smooth. Yeah, alrighty. Well, that's how to replace a slide out cable when you can't see around the corner and when the old cable is not in place to use it as a guide. Before you get that thing all buttoned up, you should run your slide in and out a few times and uh, check and make sure that all four corners of your slide contact your trailer at the same time from the outside and make sure all those uh, holes line up so your cable is not in a bind. And you do that by adjusting your cable tension by tightening or loosening those uh, spacer bolts on the end of your eyelets. Now I'd love to tell you how to do that, but obviously I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I think I've got it. I check the cable before I leave the location and it all looks good. And then I, I get to where I'm going and it might be broke. It's happened a, a couple times since I got the trailer. It's happened a couple times in a few years. Uh, but that's too many. 
So uh, I'm still in the process of figuring out how to finish it up. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll, we'll see you next time.